Okay, here's some modifications I did to my bike. First thing I did is I put a Schwinn, uh, what I call a Harley style seat for Harley, like a Harley Davidson. Fits your bottom better and it doesn't pedal as good, but you, you ride on a lot more comfortably, which is what you do on an electric bike more than, than pedaling. And when, if you want to pedal, you can still stand up and pedal, of course. The Journey seat post rack. Now this rack here slides back and forth and will, can be removed. So I drilled a hole here and put just a normal padlock here. Now one thing that's kind of interesting here is uh, I realized that if the, the elastic straps that come with this bag, if you roll it, if you put it under this lock, you can rotate the lock this way and the tension will bring the lock to where it, uh, it now instead of riding dangling down like this, it will actually snatch itself up and ride well out of the way uh, like that right there. Also I realized with these locks I use in my real estate business, these locks are designed to keep going a doorknob. They have a little, uh, they buy them at Lowe's for like, I don't know, 25 bucks. They have a combination code which opens and you can keep keys in there. Well, I rolled that through one of these locking lugs, uh, locking rods of the seat itself. It wouldn't go through both of them, but it would go through one. It kind of dangled a little bit, so what I did was I opened it up and I put two holes in the back of it with a little drill and then I ran a zip tie through both. You're gonna have to thread it through both and then zip it in the back. And what that's got is a place to keep your keys very tight. That's when I realized that by opening the box, I could actually drill some holes in the back of it uh, and mount it to the front portion of the Journey seat post rack. Now what that would do, it wouldn't, you wouldn't need these, uh, these actual loops actually can be removed. You can actually buy a box that doesn't have those loops on there already. And what that would do is you can mount the front of this box to the front of the seat post rack journey uh, plate. And what that means, you would only have access to the, to the Allen wrench bolts when the door is open. You would see the bolts through here. You probably have another set screw that mounts it actually to the face of it. You wouldn't want to use those same bolts. Uh, to mount this on. So you drill two holes, mount this to the plate, and drill four holes where you'd have access to this to these bolts. And that way you can lock, when this door is shut, even if you had an Allen wrench, you cannot remove this unless you actually open this. Uh, all this comes off with the seat post. And uh, I've got a, a seat post uh, quick rapid adjustment here that has a lock on it with a, with a, with a key. So you can lock it, put your key in here, and your seat, your seat, your seat post, your rack, uh, the tail, and, and the battery. Well, at least everything would be secure except for the battery. Now, the way I'd, I, fi I figured I'd do the battery, I haven't perfected this, but uh, for now, I wrap the battery with just some copper uh, welting, I think they call it, at Lowe's. Wrapped it uh, at every axis down the middle and on, on two sides. And I've got a a cable that cinches the whole battery down to the frame itself and what that does it's just got another little padlock which of course you can keep the key here but that can be semi-permanent because you can remove the whole bag to charge you don't need to remove the battery anymore you just slide the whole battery off excuse me the whole bag off and uh, and you've got your battery right there so that would secure the, the battery to the rack the rack with the addition of that lock is secured to the tail and the seat post is secured with the rapid locking uh, seat post adjustment from a company called uh, uh, keepyourseat.com I believe is what it's called and uh, then you've got the, the journey seat post rack itself cannot be removed unless you have the combination to your key box which can keep uh, I have a combination lock back here so you won't need a key for that uh, but it keeps the key to your seat post lock and uh, in my case I have two battery bags so it would keep one for each. However, I do not have a solution for securing the battery down low. You can still use the same recipe because it uses a cable. Instead of wrapping the cable around the seat post rack, you could simply wrap the cable around your frame here uh, and it could easily come out the whole of uh, your battery bag here. I just haven't done that yet. Um, using a Krypton lock here. Uh, at the front, uh, the lasso type cable lock rides up here, it's out of the way. 
uh, I've actually have it turned you can see here uh, it won't fit down low with the battery bag so I have it turned out at about a uh, about a 45 degree angle to ride uh, kind of side saddle here up front 